evening, September 23rd. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe. Mark 9:23. A certain man had a demoniac son, who was afflicted with a dumb spirit. The father, having seen the futility of the endeavors of the disciples to heal his child, had little or no faith in Christ, and therefore, when he was bidden to bring his son to him, he said to Jesus, If thou canst do anything, have compassion on us, and help us. Now there was an if in the question, but the poor trembling father had put the if in the wrong place Jesus Christ, therefore, without commanding him to retract the if, kindly puts it in its legitimate position. Nay, verily, he seemed to say, there should be no if about my power, nor concerning my willingness, the if lies somewhere else. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. The man's trust was strengthened, he offered a humble prayer for an increase of faith, and instantly Jesus spoke the word, and the devil was cast out, with an injunction never to return. There is a lesson here which we need to learn. We, like this man, often see that there is an if somewhere, but we are perpetually blundering by putting it in the wrong place. If Jesus can help me if he can give me grace to overcome temptation if he can give me pardon if he can make me successful? Nay, if you can believe, he both can and will. You have misplaced your if. If you can confidently trust, even as all things are possible to Christ, so shall all things be possible to you. Faith standeth in God's power, and is robed in God's majesty, it weareth the royal apparel, and rideth on the king's horse, for it is the grace which the king delighteth to honor. Girding itself with the glorious might of the all-working spirit, it becomes, in the omnipotence of God, mighty to do, to dare, and to suffer. All things, without limit, are possible to him that believeth. My soul, canst thou believe thy Lord tonight?